Mr. P. S. Rao, Executive Director of the Indian Oil Corporation Limited, Fortune 500 Company, Indian Oil Corporation Limited, from India. Mr. Shaikh Kabir Rao, Director of Company India Oil, is the Indian. Más importantes del mundo, Indian Oil Corporation Limitada, de la India, el señor P.S. Rao. Welcome to the Intercontinental Convention Center, Geneva, Switzerland. It is a pleasure to introduce Mr. P.S. Rao, Executive Director of Indian Oil Corporation Limited, India's only for Fortune 500 company. Standing next to Mr. Rao is the President of Business Initiative Directions, Mr. Jose A. Prieto. And next to Mr. Prieto, Mr. Juan Saura, Communications Director of Business Initiative Directions. Mr. Rao, at this time, we'd be interested in finding out more about Indian Oil Corporation Limited, who's traveled to Geneva, Switzerland, to accept the International Gold Star Award. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about your company. To what does it owe its success? This company uh, started in the year 1964 with the amalgamation of uh, two companies, Indian Refineries Limited, established in 1958, and Indian Company, established in 1959, to become the major public undertaking in the country. This was the first undertaking after the multinational companies had come to India for refining and marketing of petroleum products. We had, over the years, traveled a lot and today we have achieved a prime position, a leadership position in the Indian oil industry having 16 billion dollars sales and it is standing 278th position in the Fortune 500 list and among the petroleum companies it is 16th position it is and uh, we had the position of 20th last year and uh, in the year 1977 and, and we achieved 16th position in the year 1988 this is we have about 33,000 dedicated offices and workmen all over the country charging to the consumer requirement of petroleum products we have about 19,000 sales points and 185 terminals and 50 LPG bottling plants spread all over the country. We have more than 6,000 kilometers of pipeline transporting crude oil and petroleum products. We own about seven refineries and the share of refining in the country is about 40 percent and the share of marketing of petroleum products is about 55 percent. We are in a very strong position. Now, with the government's liberalization policy, we are, we want to become, our vision is to become a major diversified transnational integrated energy company and we are in this process going ahead with the various plans. In fact, we are coming out of the country to establish our operations outside the country. We have already opened offices in Kuala Lumpur, Dubai, Kuwait. We are operating in uh, Dubai, Kuwait, Tabagan, Trinidad and shortly we are going to operate in Mauritius as well. Our main product is the Servo brand lubricant. It is being produced by the company uh, based on the developmental work we carried out at the R&D center which has completed about 1900 formulations so far and it is a prime lubricating oil of the country and it is we are having almost 40% share in the trade. We're interested in finding out now, Mr. Rao, you've traveled here to Geneva, Switzerland to accept the International Gold Star Award, yeah. and we're very interested in the future of your company. Tell us briefly 
about the future of Indian Oil Corporation. We continue to excel in our core business of uh, refining and marketing of petroleum products. And we also want to diversify into <laughs> crude oil product exploration and production and to power generation and distribution, power generation and also petrochemicals. And we have plans to implement projects worth of $15 billion in the next eight years. In fact, we are having now about $3 billion worth of projects in hand. So this is mainly to keep the leadership position in the country, in the core business and also in view of the continued competition coming after the liberalization of all sector in the country. We require to have the continuous growth. It may not be possible in the oil sector, that's why in the, in, the, uh, in the core business and that's why reason that we plan to go into diversification.